Hey everyone, good morning. And oh, I know by the time you guys get this, this will probably be, as you can tell, I have no lights. It is not even 6 a.m. here. So I am getting ready today to fly out from Florida, head to Vegas. But first, I have to make a nine hour stop by the dentist and I finally get my proper situation set up. So this is going to be a long day. Jason, unfortunately gets to go to Vegas without me, which is like, oh, boo-hoo you. I know, I get it. But he's going to be there. I believe he's going to meet up with Emily. We were supposed to go to dinner. I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is I'm going to be vlogging the entire experience from start to day to the getting the done on my face to BravoCon and everything in between. That's going to be for our members only. And then while I'm at BravoCon for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around and live stream for you guys. That way, I'm still putting up the content for you guys, and you guys get a little bit more of a behind the scenes as to what's happening each day. But in the meantime, guys, we're not back to talk about that. We're back to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, more importantly, Mauricio Umansky. So smash the like button, show some love, and let's get right into it. <laughs> Like we do it, like we do it. Aricia Umansky does not stop finding himself in the middle of all the shit. What is going on, sir? Well, it looks like we don't have to talk about him and his dance partner, Emma Slater, anymore. And this isn't his dance partner by any means at all, as you guys obviously know. But heading into the elimination last night, uh, well... The votes spoke louder than the judges' scores, and Mauricio Umansky and Emma Slater were eliminated from the show. I've been saying this, and this isn't the point of this video, but I don't think that they had a chance of winning anyways. I think that this is Ariana uh, Maddox's mirror ball, definitely. But let's get into the whole reason we're talking about this, or him. So now Mauricio Umansky is slammed by ex-ABC executives over a situation, another real estate situation. So RadarOnline.com said there is slim chance that hunky Mauricio Umansky will walk off with the Mirrorball trophy considering he has been eliminated. Yeah, we know. The Los Angeles homeowner who sued Mauricio owned the UMRO Realty Corp after its brokers placed the alleged tenants from hell into his $12 million home is none other than Stephen McPherson, the former Emmy Award-winning president of ABC Primetime Entertainment from 2004 to 2010. Now, the same alleged hellions who were highly recommended by the money-hungry UMRO realtors allegedly decapitated McPherson's 2005 Emmy statue along with causing about $1 million in damages to the property, furniture, designer clothing, and the garden. No man. How the hell? My God, look at this in me. Wow. What? It's not your Emmy to decapitate, sir. Or ma'am. It's very important. Wait. Wait. Okay. The sad thing about this is that the tenants themselves were never brought to justice, and it's really horrific and unfortunate, is what McPherson told RadarOnline.com in an exclusive interview. All I know is that in UMRO's recommendation, they said that they had worked with them for years and that they were vouching for them. You tell me what that means. As RadarOnline.com reported, McPherson's lawsuit was filed in May of 2021, naming UMRO and two of its real estate agents who steered the married couple into the furnished $12 million mansion in October of 2020 under a six-month lease at $55,000 a month. Court documents show. Okay, let me also add really quick. You should be able to, like for Jason and I, people don't realize this, but we don't just do YouTube. We have another business and we rent out our house situation, okay? That's how we do it. So when you rent out your place, we really lucked out with our first tenants. It was during the pandemic. And that was our first time kind of exploring this. And it, it, you know, was great. But now for the first time ever, we have rented out our place where it is fully furnished. And we left things behind. But anything that we like, I would not leave an Emmy statue furniture, like, 
yeah, shit, you can't, you know, I'm worried about that. I'm worried about it because, you know, there was a gray couch or it, it's kind of like white or cream. And I'm like, oh, what if they're nasty? What if somebody sits on it and gets dirt on it or puts their dirty feet on it? Or <clears throat> what can you do? You rented it furnished. But I wouldn't, I didn't even leave my Rose Forever box there. Like, let alone would I leave an Emmy statue. I didn't want to leave the Nintendo Switch. Jason made me. So, no. Like, don't leave things of that kind of value. That just doesn't, why would you even do that? I don't get it. But, okay. The couple allegedly proceeded to rummage through a storage closet and damage expensive collector designer clothes, remove and banished artwork and furniture, pillage the wine cellar, and gift two couches to the housekeeper's husband. McPherson said items are still missing. When the lease expired in April of 2021, the couple allegedly refused to leave and decided to homestead rent-free, forcing McPherson to file eviction papers in housing court at the height of the pandemic. We finally got an eviction with the LA County Sheriff after six months. That's what he told RadarOnline.com. Oh, I would be pissed. Now, once McPherson regained access to the home, he surveyed the tornado like damage and was not mm, this is what he said once an emmy is broken it's broken you can't fix it per se there were a lot of things like the emmy and other keepsakes even just family things that were destroyed or stolen completely again i don't understand why you would leave that shit in your house i mean a storage closet sure an emmy no this is not the first time Mauricio Umansky has been accused of conducting shady business deals through UMRO, which goes by the uber swanky name, The Agency. As RadarOnline.com reported, Kyle Richards' estranged husband is being sued by a developer and his realtor for allegedly ignoring their $40 million bid to purchase the seized home of Tadoro Ming, the sticky finger playboy son of the president of the oil-rich African nation, Equatorial Guinea. Uh. Mauricio Umansky was contracted by the federal government to sell the Malibu spread, but instead purchased it himself with his partner, Mauricio Oberfeld. The duo then resold the mansion for nearly $70 million a year later, netting about $37 million in profit. Oh. There goes the clock. See? Even they know. The battle is also being fought in the L.A. Superior Court, where the developer seeks about $35 million in damages. And an infuriated McPherson charged the agency agents. Yeah, he's saying that they knew about the past, the couple's check checkered history of alleged fraud, especially since the realty company was involved in a similar 2015 judgment that involved a $131,000 payout. McPherson, who also alleged the couple... Our notorious con artist, maliciously doing this for so many years, stopped short of accusing the agency of working in cahoots with the couple. I think that the agency has so many lawsuits against them. It's just crazy that they're still doing business regularly around town. It's hard to believe. Now, the agency denied the allegations and filed a cross complaint against the couple and the shell company used to rent the home. And that's what the court documents showed. But I have a feeling that this battle is long from over long from over and they're not going to stop doing business people companies get sued all the time you don't think that all of these other companies like Ro I, i'm not even going to name them you don't think that they've been sued sorry mcpherson but you're not putting mauricio out of business even though this is not good for mauricio not being accused of being a con artist girl we gotta get you a home just kidding <laughs> It's only 6 a.m. All right, guys, smash that like button. Show some love. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. I gotta wake up. I had espresso. And I'll see you guys later.